So there's a popular entertainment game called Surgeon Simulator. It is not a true medical simulation. It's an entertaining vision, which of course is not how a surgical procedure uh, is ever affected. But on the other hand, this is a game that runs on phones and tablets and PCs. And it's available for like $20. So if this game can be open to modification, much like Unreal Tournament, it might be possible to in fact make this more medically authentic so that medical students could have very low cost surgery simulators that they could have on their phone or on their tablet. Uh, because even right now, medical students get very limited exposure to surgery because it's a very expensive kind of a thing, risky. Uh, we don't have a lot of volunteers for surgery, I'm told. Most of them may be cadavers, okay, which have the flaw of not living, so they don't, you know, react. When you cut them, they stay cut forever. They use live animals, so they have surgical animals, which are living creatures. Uh, if you do something wrong, it has consequence. Medical cadaver and animal surrogate are comparably priced around thirty to fifty thousand dollars each now. Uh, and now they have robotic mannequins, which are reusable. So those mannequins cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, but they have the benefit of, you really can't kill them, but they die every day. That you can cut into them, but then seal them back up. You have uh, different kinds of simulated experiences, but all are still fairly costly. So that means that med school students still get very limited exposure to it. We see an opportunity to bring in computer games and virtual reality or augmented reality techniques into both medical education and medical practice. And in the same way that nowadays, the pilots that in nearly all commercial airlines are all simulator trained. Oftentimes their first commercial flight is with passengers, okay. We've recently just finished producing a new game-based workstation, which is designed for rehabilitation of stroke patients. Part of what, you know, the manifestation of a stroke is you have, you know, this loss of, of, of motor control, often on one side of the body. What affects the quality of life of the patient is how well they can, if at all, recover that lost motor control. And historically, those modes of rehabilitation are done with a therapist. So the idea of bringing in games now is sort of a way to make the therapy experience one that's less pedantic and abstract and one that's more playful. And we're rolling out a nationwide clinical study. This is the largest study in the U.S. of game-based telerehabilitation that's gone on using these new game consoles or game workstations that we've developed here at UCI. The collaboration with the School of Medicine and the UCI Med Center up in Orange is going to be very exciting and very growth-oriented.